guys, in this video, we're going to make Nitro great again. So since the introduction of much faster, more powerful electric RC cars, Nitros have been slowly dying out. They're a lot slower than electric. They're noisy, stinky, messy. It can be difficult to get them running and to keep them running. And with electric RC cars, it kind of solves all of that. But with all that said, uh, electric is kind of soulless. It doesn't make the noise, it doesn't make the smoke, it doesn't make the smell. So although there's many benefits, there's just that something missing. There's just something really cool about a real engine, a real piston in there, a real exhaust pipe, real fuel, and having a real engine inside a model car. And that is one thing that electric can never compete with. And because of all those negatives about nitro, it can make it quite off-putting. So, a little while ago, I got this, the Traxxas Revo 3.3. It's probably the most user-friendly Nitro RC car that you can buy. But we made it even more user-friendly. So the Revo 3.3 comes with a nitro engine and electric start, but you have to plug in this little one thing here to get it running. So, Jason from Redfin Models, he modified it. So now we can start it from a switch on the radio. I'm going to show you more of that later. Last time we used it, we stripped the plastic spur gear, and if we look here, we have a Robinson Racing metal one. So we're going to fit this, then we're going to take it to Arc Raceway and give it a rip to see just how good it really is. Trouble is, when you're at a racetrack with nitros, you start the engine, you walk up the stairs and by the time you get up there and you're waiting on the line the thing stalled so you're walking back down the stairs again and then you start it again you go back upstairs blah 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 all right enough waffle let's get wrenching and then we're gonna take it out for a rip yes There's the Traxxas slipper clutch, and as you can see, there's not much there. We go over to the Robinson Racing one, we've got a much bigger one and a lot more beefy one. Also, the spur gear is made out of metal. So that probably goes on there. And that probably goes on there, on there, back in there. Beautiful! Next, we need to put in some goodness. So before we go to Art Raceway, let's give it a little rip around here first and make sure that it all works like it's supposed to. What should happen is we flick this switch and it will start. Oh, hold on. Right, now try and prime it. Now with the fuel clamp off, hopefully it's gonna go. So we're gonna go a bit of full throttle, a little bit of crankage, and we should see the fuel go in. Come on. Tune it, yeah. No, go on. No, too cold. None of us know how to tune it. We're gonna have to get Mick Craddock in the house so he can do it. To that. There you go. Too rich, too lean. I haven't got a bloody clue. All oh. oh, right, we have Mick Craddock in the house, and we're gonna get this car running. Hopefully, perfectly. You just tune that one in a different video, and now that is running spot on. Hopefully, we can do the same with this one. <laughs> the top end's too lean. Alright, we've got the expert doing it. It's already ten times better than it was though. That's your biggest problem. We've got a lot of fuel line there. That's... Yeah, look. Is that way too long, is it? Haven't they done it like that on purpose so that it runs when it's upside down for a bit longer? And then you can use that extra length to make the exhaust longer. Yeah, you can do. That will equal the pressure out from when the tank's getting low to when it's getting high. So what's the longer exhaust tube do? It, it equalises the pressure out because as your, as your tank goes down, you've got this airspace to fill up. So when it's up full, you get full high pressure and it gets lower. It, um, you've got more airspace in here, but you want to equal it out so that you've got a little bit less pressure when the fuel tank's high. That's broken up, isn't it? I'm gripping now, isn't it? I'm oh, flying! <laughs> Up the temperature. Oh, beautiful! Oh, it's going well. All right, body on. Here we go. Oh, so 
guys, I've made a complete pig's ear with the brakes. They're binding and they're weak. If you look at this, you've got too much gap there. Yeah. So you've done the brakes up so that the uh, your cam's permanently touching. So what it's done is it's shined up the brakes. Ah. It's like polished them. So what you've got to do is you've got to adjust these back up so you get the leverage on the cam and then adjust this so that when your brakes off, all the disc brakes are nice and loose. Yes. And it's not touching the pads at so all. So how much gaps is supposed to be on there when it's loose? Uh, I would only go for about half a millimetre. Then you can adjust your end rate on your servo. Yeah, I'll, leave, I'll leave it up to the governor. You tighten this up really to get more brakes. So now we've got the engine working properly, we've got the gearbox working properly, we've got the starting mechanism working properly, and we've got brakes! Guys, Mick has got an RC masterclass where he teaches you guys all this stuff. It's mainly for racing cars, but all of it you can use on the batteries as well. So link to that if you want to know more down below. Here we are at Arc Raceway. We've got Dave in the house with the X-Max. We've got the Nobbers in the house with a Nitro. What are you doing, mate? Do you need Mick Craddock to tune it for you? Yeah. Well, I don't know how to tune it. Pull that and it should go. That's it. Keep, keep tugging away at that, mate. <laughs> you need to get Mick Paddock's RC Masterclass and you know how to tune it, wouldn't you? This is the place that I wanted this nitro for. There's nothing worse. You start it up, you put it on the track, then you walk all the way up there, then it's stalled. Then you've got to come all the way back down again, restart it, up again, and it's stalled. But now we've got electric start. Here we go. <laughs> All right, next, we're gonna have a race, they're all waiting. We're coming over. Here we go, here we've got the start line. We've got a Typhon, Clayton, X-Max, X-Max, Talion, and another Typhon. And here we got all the contenders. Ready, 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 go. Oh no. Tumble, wumble. We're gonna win! Look! Look! That's, now we are in first! And we cross the line and win! Yes! <laughs> 